Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hello, family. Listen uh, to all of our new followers and new uh, subscribers. Hello, everyone. Welcome and thank you. And of course, to my tribe and family at large, welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video. Of course, you know, I want to always mention our uh, Thursday night live stream. We go live right here on the channel every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Can you say 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time? I'd love to see you here. Come and join us for our Thursday night live streams. I really do believe that it will bless your soul all right and of course each time we drop a video on the channel the goal of the day is 2.1k hello hello help a sister out one time if you rocks with your girl if you rocks with your girl hit that like button for me right please okay right now right now please thank you all right y'all so let's jump into the topic of this video this particular topic i have not covered and i want to talk about it um because i feel like it's necessary um i feel like we need to we really need to focus on you know the uh the seriousness of um the you know the energy you know and the type of energy that you're dealing with uh when it comes to a narcissist you know and you know basically we're going to be talking about you know have you ever witnessed the narcissist black eyes i've never covered this topic now i'm not talking about the black eyes as in you know getting into a physical fight i'm t i'm speaking of actual black eyes okay when you when you literally see no whites in the eyes okay you literally see no whites in the eyes the eyes are completely black okay and i know y'all gonna testify in the comment section and i want y'all to uh share this video because i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to you about the i'm gonna give you some revelation here and i'm gonna talk to you uh a little bit about you know what you what what you're actually witnessing spiritually all right so uh a lot of you know that are here on the channel you know that um i do talk about narcissism but i also talk about it from a, a, a spiritual perspective um i just i all praise and, and and honor to the most high god that gives me the utterance you know the the ability to really see uh in the rim of the spirit what is happening and to be able to you know talk to you all about it for those of you that are spiritual and really understand the spirit world and that it actually controls the natural and it's not vice versa some people think that it's the natural that controls the spiritual but no it's the spiritual that controls the natural and there are ways that we can we can speak things into existence you know and a lot of times what we see when we begin to speak it's you know it's a reaction or it's a declaration of what has already transpired or what has manifested in the natural so we're able to fight back with our words and our faith amen so i want to talk about these black eyes because if you see this you know you're you're truly in grave danger and people don't understand that i've heard people say that they seen the black eyes more than once you know they've seen it several times uh with a narcissist now there is a what happens with this usually you will see this uh, in a when the narcissist is primarily enraged okay now what you need to understand about you know the spirit world is that usually when you see a uh when there's a um a fit of rage or whatever when a person has been demonically oppressed or possibly possessed uh and they have a spirit of anger sometimes it's a spirit of uh you know it, it anger travels with wrath um torment you know different things because when you talk about spirits they travel in groupings you understand what i'm saying so 
Uh, a lot of times when you're seeing a manifestation, you may not just see one thing, but you could see a person doing several things, several several different odd things, you know, when they're manifesting. Some people contort, some people, um, you know, rock, some people, you know, their tongues come out of their mouths, look like almost a, a lizard tongue, you know, snake tongue or whatever. There's a lot of different things, you know, that could happen. But the reason I, I gave you examples is because what happens is when you you see these black eyes you're actually looking at a demonic manifestation i said it i need y'all to hit that like button <laughs> i need you to hit that like button you are literally witnessing a demonic manifestation the whites of the eyes are the way that they were constructed okay and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna tell you something else about you know uh spirits too they don't necessarily have to when when it's a demonic manifestation it doesn't always they don't have to always go completely black um sometimes you will see that the pupils are really really dilated okay dilated to the point where you only may see a, a portion of the color in their um in their eyes now, the only time, and this is in broad open daylight, or this could be in a well-lit area that you're seeing the pupils, the you know, the pupils completely dilated. Now, I know they're going to, people are going to say, oh, well, there's medical reasons for that. And there sure is. There, there could, you know, but science a lot of times have been, especially when you're t talking about psychology, has been designed to, um, has been designed to explain away things that are truly spiritual. Now, am I saying that everyone with dilated pupils are manifesting? No. But am I saying that this is sometimes a, a, a manifestation? Yes. And usually when it's when the pupils are dilated like that, when you're dealing with a uh, demonic manifestation, it's usually the person may be very angry or uh, very annoyed by what you're doing. But usually what's happening at that point or or it could be a point where they're uh when you're dealing with a narcissist they could be very angry annoyed or they could be uh extremely happy about something or you know just it, i mean basically have done something to you that has satisfied them in such a way that you know they just you, you begin to see them dilated like that but usually it's in a in a situation where they're very emotional when you're talking about a manifestation, you know, and they could have probably when I say happy, they could have done something so horrible to you, but it was very satisfying to them. And they just got that nasty little grin on their face and you see the pupils are dilated and it's a well lit area. Why are your pupils so wide? You know what I'm saying? And this also happens. Um when uh people are on drugs you know a lot of times and and drugs are that's a spirit too you know the manifestation of of a drug you know in the high when they get high you know that's a, that's a that's a you know that's what happens when they they use drugs a lot of times the, the pupils would become dilated but that's a spirit you understand what i'm saying and it causes a reaction in the body you know, and it causes the the nerves to go or, you know, the, the sensories to, you know, in the eyes to do certain things. It's unnatural is what I'm saying. It's un when it when you see them dilated to a place where it's unnatural, it doesn't fit what science would say that this is why you should see the eyes look that way when it's unnatural. Usually it's because it's a manifestation. You know, it's a demonic manifestation, especially when we're dealing with a narcissist. But when you see those eyes go black, you are in a very dangerous place. Let's be clear. You are in a very dangerous place. Once you see those eyes go black, and I'm talking about you see no white in the pupil. You are literally looking at a person that has literally been suppressed. The real person, the person that would have the ability to logic and reason with you in that moment is so severely depressed. What you're actually dealing with at that moment is a demonic spirit that is con completely uh, controlling and operating a human body. And at that moment, that narcissist is completely out of control. Woo! 
Oh boy. Let me tell you something. This is so serious. This is so serious. I need you all to really hear what I'm saying. It is so serious. Why is it so serious? Because when you see this happening, usually the person themselves are even unaware of what they're saying, unaware of what they're doing, or either they're unaware or sometimes they have just gotten to the point because the spirit will allow them to get to a place where they just don't care. They don't care that at that point you are in grave danger and they could do anything to you. Some of y'all are going to testify and say that they could do anything to you. They could say anything to you. When you see those black eyes, you could, you, you hear them say some of the most horrific things out of their mouths that you never thought that they could say to you. Oh, they told you all kinds of stuff. They wish you would die. They hope your, 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 you know, you, they wish you would do that, that something would happen on the road, you know, with your car, all kinds of stuff. If you're taking trips, they'll tell you they hope something happens to the, you know, the plane. I mean, they will tell you, they will tell you they hope you get this and you get that and something happens so horribly to you. They say those types of things. When you see them black eyes, you are literally listening. And some of y'all heard the voice even change. It didn't even sound like the narcissist. I said it. Hit that like button for me. Oh, y'all need to share this thing right here. It didn't even sound like the narcissist. Sometimes a demon will talk through the person's voice. Sometimes there is another voice you hear. That's what it is. And for and and what really concerns me is that people have stayed seeing this more than one time. Listen, I'm telling you. If you ever witness this, I don't care if they've been a diagnosed narcissist or not. If you ever witness this in a person, I don't care who it is, you better run and run fast. Because once a person has allowed a spirit to come in and literally possess them and to suppress their will so much so that that, that spirit is in full control, you don't know what that spirit will, is capable of doing through that person. Because you might not, you don't necessarily know what spirit you're in contact with. It could be a spirit of murder in there. It's definitely a spirit a spirit of rage, anger, and wrath. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times murder or death will travel. You know what I'm saying? In, those, in, 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 those, in that spiritual grouping. You understand what I'm saying? So you gotta, you have to really, really be careful. Because when you see this, this is not something to play with. It's not something that you joke around with. It's not something that you, 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 oh, well, they were just having a bad day. We talked about it and I went back, go back where? You show me that and I'm out. How do I know? I've seen it. And the first time I saw that and I saw that fit of rage the way that I did, I was out. You didn't have to, I didn't need a second opportunity to see that. This person was, he was literally out of control to the place that when he finally came back to himself, I don't even know if he understood what had happened. That was the end for me with that narcissist. Okay, the end. I didn't need to see it a second time. You got to use wisdom. You have to exercise wisdom. And although you may be hurting and although that may not be, although that may not be something that you would want to do is let this person go and of course it just depends on whatever type of situation that you're in marriage or whatever but I just do not believe that God has called us to live in bondage neither do I believe that God has called us to live with people that are going to physically emotionally and spiritually abuse us and mentally as well I don't believe that you know if if my if I feel like my life is in danger it's no question I'm out period period. So I want y'all to really take this in. I want you to share this with people that may be able to, uh, that this may help them. Don't joke with the black eyes. Do not joke with it. It is nothing to play with. Do you hear me? It's nothing to play with. This is serious. It's very, very serious. And that's why I'm making this video because I realized I had I had not talked, I had not spoken about that on this channel. But I'm I want you to know, 
When I saw it, I didn't need to see it a second time. Some people saw black eyes and ended up with broken limbs and, and things like that. Ended up being in the ICU, in the hospital, all kinds of things behind that narcissist going into, you know, that fit of rage. Don't don't allow that to be you. Don't allow that to be you. All right, family. So I wanted to get this out here today. I want you all to please, you know, just reflect you know, build up, build your spirit man up, feed it, feed your spirit man with the word of God in prayer. So, so, you know, the, the spirit of the living God, he can just heal you and make you whole. All right. So just wanted to get this out here for you all. And I uh, want, just want you to know, I love you. Take good care of yourselves. And I will see you all on the next video and I will see you all healed at the top. All right, family. Shalom. Peace.